Here's an article. It is from last March, but uh, it's uh, it's poignant for now. Fi fingerprint of the first stars. Look at this. They say the first stars may have turned on 180 million years ago. Uh, of course, according to evolution thinking, you have to believe there was a time there were no stars. Uh, after the universe by the Big Bang first unfolded. The Big Bang would have made a lot of light by this theory and then entering a, a term of time called the Dark Ages. And I always heard that was 400 million years, but I guess they've revised that again. Um, and it says they were looking for evidence of the first turn on of stars. Look at this. Stars began illuminating, you know, after the universe was born. I mean, they just keep saying these stories even though the theories are impossible because stars can't contract under their own gravity, they would heat up and then expand back out again before they could ever get hot enough to ignite fusion reactions. And then they go on to just continue to say stuff, you know. And uh, here's a good thing, though. The signature, the radiation signature they saw doesn't agree with their predictions. Unexpectedly large signal that wasn't expected. Um, suggest the hydrogen gas at the beginning of the universe was colder than predicted. I'm, I'm thinking there wasn't a big bang the way they said. Otherwise, the universe would have been too hot for us on day six when God made us, and too, well, too hot for the earth from the very beginning, too. So look at that. It says, uh, it says that uh, the hydrogen must have cooled by new types of interactions between the uh, hydrogen and dark matter. Okay, some new thing they're making up. They don't even know what it is yet. They haven't made it up yet. And the mysterious substance they already, you know, are calling dark matter. I mean, yeah, some dark matter is real, but uh, most of it still make-believe makes up most of the matter in the universe. Most of the stuff in the universe is make-believe stuff. Yeah, neutrinos are real. Uh, black holes probably are real. And those are two examples of dark matter. But then there's all this other stuff. And then don't even start with dark energy, which has no foundation in fact at all, or observation or, or logic, except that they need it for their theories. Well, it could be God expanding the universe, talking about the universe there. This is also just a story that... Uh, hydrogen gas collapse to make stars, which we've already discussed is impossible by the laws of basic chemistry. So, you know, was was the energy from the Big Bang ever there to be absorbed by these, these uh, hydrogen molecules in the first place? Maybe that's why they're colder <laughs> than they thought. They are talking about the expansion of the universe. White hole cosmology, a biblically based uh, model of the beginning of the universe, does uh, say that that should happen. Um, revealing when the first stars turned on. All by themselves, without God, the first step. It's going to become a new and exciting field. Uh, you know, a brave new world for them. Continue to make up these stories. Continue to believe them in spite of the fact that all of the, the findings go against the predictions of the theories. That's faith. It's not science. Unfortunately, it's faith. They've hitched their wagon to the wrong star birth theory. Keep thinking. God bless. Dr.